static variables. So uh, here we have a class person defined before. It has two instance variable. Name is an instance variable. And the height are both instance variables. As you know, each time we create an instance of a person, it's going to have a name and a height, and those are going to be different for each person. Uh, but let's say that we wanted a variable that is associated not with with each object, um, but with the person class. So let's say, for example, we wanted to keep track of how many persons, how many persons have been created. Uh, obviously, that's going to be just a global count, and it's going to be the same for each particular instance. So the way we do that is we're going to say public static. Static and then give it a time integer number of persons. And let's say we can initialize that to zero at the beginning. So what the static keyword is either is static, it does it is says this variable here, number of persons, is gonna be asso associated with the class. So or in other words, it's gonna be shared. This variable is shared by all instances of the class person. Um, so let's go back over here to main and uh, show how this works. So I'm going to create a person. P is a new new person. His name is going to be Arthur. And uh, another person. Q is a new person. Oops. And trillion. So I have two people there. If I try to print out p that name, it's gonna be the name, right? Q that name, that's gonna be that person's name. Uh, let's say oh I haven't changed this, so let's say I wanna each time I call person, the person constructor, I'm gonna increase this by one. All right, so in this line you see. I am each time I call a person constructor, I am increasing number of persons by one. So I can access this just like any other instance variable, but it's not. It's a it's a static variable, so it's shared by everything, so by everyone. So when I call this constructor, it's going to increase it by one. When I call it this time, it's going to increase it by one. So that means that in the end, it is going to be how much? When I run that. I'm gonna print out two, right? So print out the name, name, and then the number of persons, which is two. Notice how I used that. I said person dot number of persons. I could have also said q dot number of persons. Run that. Runs. I'm gonna say p number of persons. Run that, and I get the same number. Generally, we prefer to use that. You know, when you're calling it from another class, you just say person dot and then the static variable just makes it clearer, um, just in general. So that's a static variable, right? It's shared by all instances. And similarly, you can have a static method. So let's say uh, I made this public, you know, I probably don't want that public, right? I want that private. Because uh, that way, you know, this guy can't mess with it. He can't change the number of persons, but that, of course, means that now I can't print that out. So what I want is a getter method right now. I want to get number of persons. I want that to work. And how do I get that? Well, as such, I would say public static int get number of persons. That method, all it does is return number of persons. So here it is. This is a static method. Static method, and it works. It just all it does is it returns a static variable, the value of that static variable. Uh, I can run that, and it will work. Print out two, and from over here. I cannot change because it's private. I can't change the number of persons. I can't do nasty stuff like number of person 11. That's not going to work. It's already telling me uh, that that's not visible, so that's not going to work. 
So one last thing to keep in mind in your static. So a static method can only access um, static variables. Which we're doing here. If I wanted to, you know, say int uh, age equals height. I can't do that. I can't, even though height, if you remember, well, height is an instance variable for this class, but within a static method, I can't access. I cannot access that. It says cannot make a static reference to the non-static field height. So within a static method, I can only refer to static variables. Uh, I could, you know, I could have this pass it a person p, and then I could talk about p dot height. That I can do. Uh, so that I can do if I pass a person as an argument, I can do that kind of stuff. But you know, if you're doing this, you might as well probably just write an instance method, just get rid of the static variable. So the static methods are generally just for accessing static variables. Uh, in general, Sometimes you'll hear me and people call static methods or static variable uh, as global variables because they're almost the same as a global variable in other languages. That means they're accessible from anywhere. Uh, so if I say, you know, the person dot number of persons, that is accessible from pretty much anywhere. Uh, well, if it was public, that is. 